क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in this topic we are going to talk about the nomenclature of ether but there are two systems as you know that is one is the common system and one is the iupc nomenclature and based on that we are going to talk about that how we can give the common name as well as the iupc nomenclature to the ether so now let us get started so first of all let me talk about the common name for example if we have an ether like ch3 O C H three. So in this case, the name it ends with ether whenever it comes to common name. So as you can see, that is there is a methyl group again. There is a methyl group. So therefore, we have to represent the total number of alkyl group that we can observe across this oxygen atom. So in this case, we get two methyl groups. So therefore, the name of this one in terms of a common name it would be dimethyl ether. Suppose if we have another example like C H three O C2H5. So in this case, one is methyl group and the one is ethyl group. So therefore, we could name it as methyl ethyl ether. But the thing is, we have to also obey the alphabetical order. So that's the reason we could name it as ethyl methyl ether. So that is how basically we give the common name to the ethers. So this was related to the common name, and it is very much easy to understand. And now let us come back to the main thing that is IUPAC nomenclature of ether. So talking about the IUPAC nomenclature of ether, so there are certain rules that I am going to talk about with certain examples. For example, if we are writing the ether structure in this manner, and out of which suppose if this alkyl group is smaller compared to that of this alkyl group, then what we have to do is we have to consider this alkyl along with that of this oxygen. So therefore, this one would be nothing but alkoxy. This group will be the alkoxy, and this one would be considered as the parent chain, and this is nothing but an alkane. So therefore, in IUPAC nomenclature, it ends like alkoxy alkane. So based on this theory, we are going to talk about with the help of a few examples. So the examples are. So this is the first example for which we have to give the IUPAC nomenclature to this ether. So if we observe, this is the methyl group, while this is the ethyl group. Obviously, we understand that ethyl group is basically it has more carbon content compared to that of the methyl one. So that's the reason that this lower member of an alkyl it will be along with this oxygen atom, and therefore the name of this one would be called as methoxy. And now this methoxy group is attached to the first carbon atom of ethane. So therefore we could call it as methoxy ethane. So therefore this is nothing but this is the IUPAC nomenclature for this compound. And now let us move on to the next one. So this is the second example, and let us consider that which one would be considered as a parent chain or parent alkane. So if we observe this thing, this is nothing but a methyl group, while this is nothing but a tertiary butyl group, or we could also call it as since we can also calculate. The number of carbon atom that could be in a straight chain. So this is the number of carbon atom that is in a straight chain. So therefore, this one could be called as carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. And on carbon number two, we can find a methyl group. So that's the reason that we could name this one as because this is the smaller group that we have. That is methyl that is attached to the oxygen atom. So therefore, this is nothing but methoxy. So therefore, we could name it as two methoxy. The reason behind that is it is attached to the second carbon atom. So therefore, the name is two methoxy. And this is two methyl. The total number of carbon in a straight chain is three. So therefore, in terms of an hydrocarbon, it would be called as propane. So this is the name. If you observe one thing, that is the parent chain is nothing but it is two methyl propane. So that is the reason that it should come at the last. While this, this is a substituent where basically we can find an alkoxy group. So this alkoxy group will be. At the first, so this was related to this example, and now let me talk about the another example. So this is another example, and for which we have to give the IUPAC nomenclature. So there are two alkyl groups. That is, one is ethyl group, and this is a propyl group. But here we can also observe another substituent, that is chlorine, or we could also call it as halogen atom. So therefore, this one could be considered as carbon number one. This is carbon number two. This is carbon number three, and this is nothing but ethyl group. But ethyl group is very much smaller compared to that of a propyl group so therefore this one will be with oxygen and this one will have a name ethoxy but if we talk about this chlorine atom so therefore it is attached to the third carbon atom so therefore the name of this one could be given as that is 3 chloro and now we can give it as one ethoxy or we can call it as ethoxy and the total number of carbon in this chain is nothing but 3 so therefore we could name it as propane but now let me give the name 
numbering here also that is it would be 3 chloro 1 ethoxy propane so this one is the appropriate name according to iupsc that is 3 chloro 1 ethoxy propane and now let me talk about the next one so friends this is the one for which we have to give the iupsc nomenclature so this is c2h5 which is attached to oxygen atom so therefore this one could be called as alkoxy so therefore this carbon atom since it is attached to alkoxy obviously this one will be considered as carbon number one this is carbon number two this is carbon number three four five and six so in terms of that we could name this as ethoxy that is attached to the first carbon atom so therefore i could name it as one ethoxy then this is nothing but a cyclohexane on the third position where we can find that is c2h5 that is nothing but an ethyl group so therefore we could name it as one ethoxy three ethyl cyclohexane so that is the iupc nomenclature for this one and now let me talk about the next one so this is another ether for which we have to give the iupc nomenclature but if you observe this group and this group this is nothing but a phenyl group while this is nothing but it consists of one two three four and five five carbon atoms so therefore this one could be considered as an alkoxy group so i will make sure that this is what we have to consider as alkoxy group but in this alkoxy group also we can find that is this is carbon number one this is carbon number two three four but on the third carbon atom there is methyl so therefore we could name this thing as three methyl methane ethane propane butane three methyl butoxy and this is nothing but benzene in terms of an hydrocarbon so therefore the name is 3 methyl butoxy benzene so that is it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have got to know about the iupc nomenclature of ether and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much